Ready? It's just like a sled. It just looks like... All right, now I need to go find my Suburban and figure out what happened. You might remember this was supposed to be a project that I was gonna make into a crew cab and finish. Well, I've just been driving it every day ever since I put the front end back together, so I haven't had a chance to cut it apart and make it better. It works as is. There she is, right where I left her. Good morning, beautiful. I'm sorry I left you out here by yourself. You made it through the night. We're gonna try and diagnose what happened and figure it out. The last thing we remember is it went pop. That's my guess. I think what we've got here is just a totally dead battery. Must be junk. Nothing. Zero. Take this wire, we'll hook it up to the negative, and then we'll take this one and hook it up to the positive. Nothing at all. Okay. I think my battery's probably under warranty. Don't know what happened to it. I guess it's just too cold to be a battery. It was probably made in China. The whole world's gone to hell. Ain't good quality nothing. Batteries are hit or miss. Sometimes you get a battery that you don't even think about it. I had some stuff, you got a battery, it lasts eight years. Then you have other stuff. I think I bought this battery in the spring. I don't think it's, I don't even think it's six months old. Maybe. Battery to bring with me, it would have been okay. I don't know why there's no sticker on this bastard. Ah, oh, 19. Oh, sh it's a year old. 2019. That's how the whole world is. Just as soon as the expiration for the warranty's up, poof. This goes bad. Maybe we can find a battery somewhere. All right. Now we can take it home.
goes that again. All right, we could have just drove it home. Instead, I tried playing and having fun. And here we are again. Well, we found some dirt. This has turned into a little bit of a disaster on its own. We've got massive lead meltdowns here in the battery compartment. We've got a starter wire that melted all the way back and is grounding itself out on the frame. I don't know if that was the original problem or what. Fix this wire or at least get it to stop grounding itself out so I can get this thing back home. And on top of that, my exhaust manifold is just cracked in half and fell off. I guess it was tired of doing its job. That's the damnedest thing I ever saw. Somehow or another, everything that has to live with me is gonna deal with some abuse. All right, I got wires melted. All right, so possibly what has happened here? I don't know. All I know is this wire's hot. So we got wires, we got nuclear meltdown going on here in the engine compartment. This wire is just toasted. We burned all the rubber coating off going down to the starter. So then when I hook up the battery, Everything starts arcing out. We got grounding out issues. All right, what's going on up here? Maybe we can rig that wire up so that it ain't touching nothing. Ow, that was my head. All right. Ah. Well, I mean that better working from up there. Okay. Now, if we can rig that wire up so as it ain't touching nothing, then we'll be okay. We'll get that pesky exhaust pipe dangling in there. I need to put you down and see if I can accomplish something. Ah, oh! Try again. Okay. Now, let's try and get this wire situated as to not cause any further issues. What the shit was that? Icicle from hell, ow! That was my thumb. Everything's hot. Okay, now it's just kind of dangling there. Now let's hook up the negative wire and see what happens. So that's, well that's because I didn't hook up the positive. All right, that's better. So we got probably maybe mild grounding issues there. All right, so where's my vice grips? Here they are. Let's hook up my negative terminal with my vice grips. We've melted lead all around our battery here because we've had some, we had some issues. I'll hook everything back up and try and limp her home. I don't know if the problem started yesterday. I'm assuming it started yesterday. Maybe that wire was... So maybe the exhaust manifold broke yesterday, fell on the starter wire, grounded it out onto the frame, and then totally self-destructed. And I've just come and thrown a battery in here like everything was going to work fine. And it sure didn't. No big deal. We'll get you back home and get you fixed up, sweetheart. I guess it's time to put headers on. Now we're supposed to limp it home nice and easy, right?
someone made it back home. Now this is a project, but this has always been a project, so no big deal. Just got to run some new wires and get a battery that actually fits in there. 